What is up YouTube? This is your guy Christopher Watson of Crack Media and this is the last review or the season interview of JDM Legends which is a wonderful show on Velocity. Um, this is just going to be like an overall review or recap of the entire season. So I'm not going to go into like, uh, I guess, well I won't go into real detail on the bills explicitly but I'm going to go and talk about everything I guess the highs and lows of the series. So first off, kind of recap, JDM Legends is a uh, shop located in Salt Lake City and they specialize in anything Japanese classic or JDM classic rather. Um, Datsun, Nissan, Toyota, Mazda, anything that is 25 years and older. Um, but in this series, they're pretty, they're pretty Nissan or Datsun heavy. Um, and what I mean by that is like every build that they do is Datsun or Nissan. Um, Skyline, 240Z, 510, um, all the, you know, all of the, the, I guess, mainstream sports cars you think about. Um, now, as far as the build quality of those, those cars, Top notch. I mean, I pretty much think that they're now. I mean, I've seen some some other bills by other people, but I think as far as restoration goes, they are up there, like probably the top rest restorers in JDM uh, in the JDM market in America. So that's just from what I can see from the show. Um, as far as the, I guess, show quality, and what I mean by show quality is like the interest or personalities of the, of the, the cast. Eric is uh, a mellow, funny guy, um, so he keeps it interesting. Um, Josh is a very monotone guy, but he's a very smart and very detailed person. Um, he's an electrical specialist, so... Um, Honestly, I love my dad, but he's kind of like that. My dad is like electrical engineer, very detail oriented, but very like even. I, I guess that's a good way to say it. So I understand how Josh is. Um, and then Mauricio is probably the most, uh, I guess, I don't like to say spontaneous or most spunky cast out of, out of the three. Um, he just is excited and ready to do whatever. Um, and maybe it's because he's a body guy. He likes to bang on things. Um, and will, will I, I guess to, to kind of comment on the three together, they all mesh well. Um, I think if, if the show depended on Josh, I don't think that the show would continue to go on. If Josh, if you ever see this video, it, it's not anything negative against you or I don't mean any hard feelings, but just being honest. Eric is, um, obviously this dude is a cool hip guy. Dude's got a sleeve, a tattoo sleeve, um, wears hats. I can feel you on that, Eric, because I'm kind of thinning up there. Um, they all have these freaking cool beards. I'm trying to get there. Mine's moving kind of slow. Um, but you can just tell that they love cars, man. They, they love cars. They love Japanese cars. They love anything Japanese. Um, and they know their stuff, man. Uh, they know the history of the cars. They know the history of engines. They know everything about their, everything about the car that they, that they're going to do. Um, some of the things that they said about these cars that they're restoring, or Japanese cars in particular, Japanese cars, like metal is pretty thin. Um, and you would, I guess, compared to American cars, American cars of that era, like were tanks. You could pretty much like run over a house and the car would still survive. Um, whereas a Japanese car, being that they're thin uh, metal, you hit a, a rock the wrong way and it's gonna bend. <laughs> um, and I can say that because I, uh, I have a 1991 MR2 um, and the the metal on that seems to be thinner as well. I think that's a smart thing to do uh, as far as the the manufacturing goes because 
lighter weight, more economical, you know, things of that nature. Um, they are JDM everything. They like to, they drive JDM cars, they drive, you know, they go to JDM shows, they go to, they just love Japanese everything. Um, another little interesting, uh, I guess, piece of this series is not only the bills that they cover and the detail they go into, but they actually talk about other cars that they imported and and restored as well. So like they talked about a RX-7, um, like the first generation RX-7 that actually in the States was like a, a carbureted rotary engine, uh, naturally aspirated, but in Japan there was a turbocharged rotary uh, version which obviously was much more powerful and and just a cooler engine than an American engine and was actually doing pretty well in the race series over there um, they have a Corolla feature they have other 240Z's you know things of that nature um, and then they have a, a R31 Skyline featured on there as well um, like I said I can just tell that they really 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 like Japanese cars um, and they you know immerse themselves in that and I can appreciate that I can appreciate a shop that is exclusively doing one type of car instead of you know trying to do everything um, I think when you do everything you don't do every you don't do everything good you don't do everything well but when you are stick to one particular um, genre of vehicle you can do that really well and they have perfected their craft this isn't a like an advertisement for them but man it's just for watching the show I can tell you that I think if you want to do a restoration or import a car um, you need to probably contact JDM Legends because they'll legit get stuff done for you um, and I'm, I mean looking at their website they have some cars on there like they're a few thousand dollars not like a few five thousand like tens hundred thousand dollars um, because they're they're that good they're that meticulous and that detailed about their bills um, as far as this series continuing on I think that this series should continue on to have a second season um, but you know if if enough petrol heads say that they like the show then I think the show is going to stay on but if some people go eh, it was kind of boring um, the personalities weren't as energetic as say uh, Gas Monkey Garage or Street Outlaws or something like that then I could see that but to me I I appreciate the detail and the um, step by step uh, restoration process because it just shows how much work really goes into into a, a restoration bill like they do um, so to recap it all and to tell you my opinion on this series if you haven't seen any of the other reviews watch this series you won't be disappointed um, you'll love the cars that they do you'll love the detail that they do if you're a detailed person and if you're a true JDM petrol head you'll love it because of the cars that they build and and the detail that they do if any of you guys have seen any of the shows um, from this series drop a line down below tell me what you think tell me which car is your favorite um, which Skyline is your favorite or which 510 or the 240Z tell me which car is your favorite and why and uh, I'll catch you in the comments um, if y'all haven't subscribed please subscribe I'll have more uh, sh car show reviews in the future um, and uh, as well as bills and I hate to use the word vlog because the vlog is played out but um, we'll have some other things going on business ventures things of that nature so um, thank you for watching make sure you like and uh, we'll catch you in the next video peace out